and cracks and in our minds and hearts. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the cross of Pilate, was crucified and died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He descended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last thing. Made alive with God in Christ, we pray for the church, those in need, and all of God's creation. Holy and ever-living God, uphold your people with your word, that we remain steadfast in our life with you. Deliver mercy and grace to us through Jesus, our high priest. Lord, in your mercy. Reclaim lands and waters that have been polluted through human neglect and greed. By your creative spirit, introduce again the vibrant and diverse life you have made. Lord, in your mercy. Lord. Establish your justice through the work of judges, jurors, lawyers, and officers of the court. Bless them and those whom they serve so that your goodness will flow through them. Lord, in your mercy. Lord. Pour out compassion on your servants in time of need. We especially pray for Paul and Barbara and the Nieberg family, the Walters family, on the families of those who were lost on the Alfaro cargo ship. We pray for healing for those listed on our prayer list and those we mention now, either aloud or in our hearts. For the family of Mary Ann Blatt's. Where people dwell in darkness, let the light of your truth and mercy refresh and renew them. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Knock down the barriers in our lives that keep us from following you. Show us how to open doors for others to enter into your saving presence. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Be with all those in our military and those who minister to them spiritually, physically, and mentally. Help them to find peace as you hold them in your strong arms. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Grant your grace to Danielle and her parents as they bring her to you boldly and confidently for baptism today. Fill them with your loving spirit and open their hearts to your loving presence. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Your everlasting gift of forgiveness has sustained the saints throughout all generations. Continually immerse your people in that same gift until we stand before your throne of grace. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Gather these concerns and all who are in need into your abundant care, O God. Remember your promise of mercy in Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, whose name is majestic in all the earth who rescues and heals in every time of trouble, who does all things well. Amen. Let us come before God seeking forgiveness and life. Isn't that fast and saving God. Christ, you all. 